Okay, so we're checking out the only game that determines exactly what type of person you are and then assigns you a future death dependent on how you answer the questions. It's the horoscope. More violent fortune telling, damn it. The horoscope is a game where you must answer a series of psychological questions in order to find out exactly what type of person you are. And then after finding out what you're like, the game determines how exactly you're going to die. Obviously, our job is to answer all of these questions in the worst possible way we can and then find out what the worst death is. Honestly, the worst possible answers might actually be the honest answers for me. We all want a positive outcome. We don't always get what we want, however. I feel like the outcome I'm going to get is one where I'm skinned alive. What you'll find here may be disturbing, so it's perfect for the channel. Are you afraid of the dark? Yes, because that means I can't see the skinning coming. I just realized that our question taker is an elven ram wearing a sheet of toilet paper. Whatever, I'm not asking any questions here. If you knew the date of your best friend's death, would you tell them? Yes, but only after annoying the shit out of them for about three months. Have you ever been in a physical fight? Yes, I grew up in Jersey and I live in Florida. In New Jersey, every child gets in a physical fight before the age of three. Are you uncomfortable in deep open water? I wasn't until I saw Samuel L. Jackson get his anus kicked in by a shark. Would you consider yourself to be a shallow person? Well, uh, yes. Does answering a ringing phone give you anxiety? This feels like the questionnaire I had to answer for my first series job. If you found a suitcase full of money, would you keep it? Are the bills marked? Do you ever take dangerous and unnecessary risks? Yes, because my family is dumb. When I was young, my father and I were out hunting for turkeys. The best way he thought of doing this was to drive the truck while I was hanging out of the passenger side window with a shotgun. Why run after the turkeys when you can drive after them? When you die, would you like to be cremated? Yes, because that means my friends might be able to sneak me into a Starbucks and use my ashes as coffee grounds. Would you ever kill an animal under any circumstances? I killed like 30 goldfish before the age of seven. Is this like intentional or non-intentional? Now nah, whatever, we're going for the worst ending. If Satan were watching your every move and you knew it, would you feel uncomfortable? And suddenly the answers get real. How the hell did we go from liking animals more than people to Satan watching me? Actually, come to think of it, Satan would probably be the only person who wouldn't judge me. Satan be watching and be like, yes, well done. Do you drink alcohol? <laughs> I'm still trying to get that goddamn Natty Light sponsorship. Do you have any sexual fetishes or fantasies that you'd consider bizarre or uncommon? This should read that others would consider bizarre or uncommon because all of my fantasies are totally normal to me. Very interesting, it says. Do you thrive under pressure? Welcome to YouTube. If you could end the world with a push of a button, would you do it? This is a tough question because I think you can only end the world once. See, on my channel, I get to end the world over and over again. I'm still picking yes. Do you sometimes hope for the coming of a zombie apocalypse? Not really, because that means I'd have to start locking my rear slider. I'm surprised I haven't gotten killed in my sleep yet already, actually. If you had to resort to cannibalism to survive, would you be able to? I mean... As long as the meat is fresh. Do you like guns? Florida. Do you like knives? Is this actually sorting out what way I'm going to die? This game's gonna be like, God damn it, he likes everything. I'm gonna end up getting shot by a gun that's ammo is knives. Do you like blunt objects? Yes, if it can be used to kill me, I like it. Theoretically, if you had the opportunity to go to space on an alien vessel, would you go? I guess it depends on the alien vessel. If there's like an open bar, then yes. If you could leave Earth and go to space, never to return again, would you leave? I feel like this is a very poetic way to ask if you would die in the vacuum of space and be okay with that. Sure. Did you know that over 20% of koala bears have chlamydia? No, I didn't know that. What does that have to do with the test? That one wasn't really relevant. I just thought it was interesting. Are you alone right now? Uh. Yes. Are you sure? I was until you asked me that question. Do you believe in demons? I mean, we've already gone past the fact that Satan's watching my every move, so yes. If you knew you could summon a demon, would you do it? Are we talking like a Guillermo del Toro demon or like an anime hot demon? Ah, whatever, they're both good. Would you consider anyone to be evil? Yes, my cat is evil because he won't shut the hell up. 1% of the population are sociopaths, which means that out of 100 people you've encountered, in your life, you've met at least one sociopath. 
Chances are you speak to a few of them on a daily basis. Did you know that? I was gonna say no, but then I remember that I live in Florida, so yes. Do you think that you could potentially be a sociopath? <laughs> it's better to kill than to be killed. Do you agree? I like how it's gone from asking me neutral questions to being like, killing people is good, right? Yes, it is. Do you lie to people on a daily basis? I mean, I'm lying on this questionnaire right now. Do you stay hydrated frequently? I mean, Bud Light is mostly water. Are you afraid of a home invasion? What kind of question is this? I'm waiting for that one person that sits at home and they're like, man, one day I'll finally get invaded. Still waiting, it's on my bucket list. Have you ever broken a bone? Yes, but it was a stupid bone. It was my toe. If a killer were in your house, would you run or fight? Wait, these are yes or no questions. I can't pick run or fight. Or do you just mean run or fight or do what? I mean, yes, between running or fighting, I would probably pick one. If your house was on fire and you could safely get out, but in order to save your family or pets, you'd have to venture back in and sacrifice your life to save theirs. Would you do it? My cat has been meowing at my door while I've been trying to record this entire episode. You did this to yourself, Onyx. If you were being haunted by an evil spirit, would you continue to stay in the house? Yes, because you know what we call that? YouTube views. If I told you that you are currently being haunted by an evil spirit, would you believe me? I just realized that it's possible that the meowing I'm hearing isn't actually my cat. It could just be the evil spirit and it just sucks at its job. Is money one of your favorite things? <laughs> yeah, right next to Starbucks. Are you afraid of dolls? Oh, we gotta get to doll ending. Do you like fire? I mean, we're going all the way, so yes. Do you like explosions? <laughs> I'm starting to wonder exactly how high I scored on the psychopath test. Would you consider Consider yourself to be a violent person. Half of my videos are about slaughtering a large amount of people, so... If I were to tell you that hell was coming for you, would you know what I meant? No, that's pretty goddamn ambiguous. Can you feel something watching you right now? Let's go with yes. Can you hear the whispers yet? Sure. Do you feel cold? I do now. Do you feel uneasy? Yeah. Do you feel like something is coming? Uh huh. If something was coming, do you have a good idea of what it might be? Is it hell? Do you enjoy the taste of blood? Who would answer yes to this? Oh, that's right. Cannibalism. Would you rather bleed out than be set on fire? God, I, both these are so good. I don't know which one to pick. I'll go with bleed out. Do you think about death often? Yeah, thanks to this game. Do you think you'd survive if you had to fight off a pack of wolves barehanded? I mean, I might survive, but I'd be missing half of my ass. I'm just gonna go with no. If your mother turned into a zombie, do you think you'd have what it takes to put her down? You're damn right I do. I just noticed, is that a bunch of blood spatter all over this friggin' tablecloth? If there's a hell, do you think you're going there? I mean, I don't know I don't know if it's up to me to decide, but for the ending, we'll say yes. Have you ever attempted to contact spirits? Yeah, every kid's used a Ouija board. And after what happened, I'm never going to use it again. Have you ever had a sudden urge to jump in front of a car? Glad I'm not the only one. Have you ever had the sudden urge to push someone in front of a car? <laughs> If you could come back as a ghost, would you choose to haunt someone and make their life hell? I'm not gonna lie, my wife and I have joked about if one of us dies, coming back and just incessantly annoying the shit out of the other person that's still alive. If someone were hiding in your room right now and I told you exactly where they were, would you go check? I'm gonna say no. Are you concerned that someone might be hiding in your room currently? <laughs> Live now. Do you ever worry that someone might be living in your house without your knowledge? Now I'm starting to wonder because my wife keeps blaming me for stuff that I don't remember doing and I just accept it because my memory sucks and it may have been someone else. Do you realize that you might be incredibly f up? <laughs> that moment when you answer the question so poorly that the game actually has to take a moment to let you know that you are a screwed up individual. <laughs> yes. Do you feel slightly more comfortable at this point? Not after the last question. Do you feel safe? No. Do you enjoy being dominated? <laughs> Why not? 
Do you enjoy dominating other- I'm just gonna pick yes for everything now. Does the thought of being put in a straight jacket make you feel uncomfortable? Is this foreshadowing? Would you try human flesh to see what it tastes like? I like how originally it was like, if you had to resort to cannibalism to survive, would you? And now it's like, eh, if you were out one night and you saw some human flesh laying around, you think you might try it? Like I said, if it's fresh enough. If I told you that there's a voodoo doll that looks just like you hanging in a tree somewhere near your house, would that make you feel uncomfortable? Yes, it would. It would make Florida men all over feel uncomfortable. Do you believe that you might be in danger from a supernatural force? Hell yes. Would you consider yourself to be mentally stable? I feel like I'm not supposed to be answering this question. If you're crazy, aren't you supposed to not know that you're crazy? Now for the final and most important question. Are you happy? No. This is all very interesting. I'm going to turn your results into the fear machine and let it decide whether or not it wants to reveal your potential fate. All right, fear machine, give it to me. I'm calculating your results. I'm analyzing you very carefully. I'm judging you just like Satan. Based on what you've told me, let me tell you what I see. Is it fire and blood? Because a lot of the questions were about fire and blood. Oh dear, <laughs> oh God. I see something. Something is very wrong. Your time is much shorter than most. Your days are marked. Your timeline is set. There's little you can do, but there's still something. A shadow looms over your soul, waiting, patiently waiting. It's him. He's coming for you. He's coming to take you away. You can feel him when you sleep, can't you? You can feel his eyes on you as you lay in bed at night. You can feel his breath on your neck as you walk away. You can hear his whispers calling out, but you never know what's real and what isn't. I knew it. Florida man has been watching me this whole time. I see him hovering above your face as you sleep. A malignant grin from ear to ear. He watches you so close. He waits for you to come home every time you leave. He's in your home, attached to you, on your back. He won't leave you alone. He wants you. He sounds like a fantastic husband or wife. It's like he's always there for you. They wait for you to get home. They never leave you. When you're asleep, he will enter your mind. You will see him. He will be there waiting, waiting to take you away. Into a false sense of security. You cannot trust him. You cannot take his hand. You cannot listen to his words. If you do, you will not wake up. He will drag your soul off to another realm. Jesus Christ! He will carry you through the darkness into the void. Your spirit will hang in purgatory, forever lost, wandering alone. It's not too late, huh? When you sleep, you will see him. You must turn away. If you wait too long, you will be his, and you will never come back to your body, but he will. I had no idea my future would be so elaborate. You must find the object of his power something in your home that you feel uneasy about. It may not belong to you. It was brought into your life against your will. Yes, it's the goddamn cat. <laughs> I need to get rid of it. Your secret word is cursed. Well, apparently I'm going to be possessed by the devil and then kill everyone around me. Unless I take care of this cat first. Well, we answered every question horribly and I was not disappointed at the outcome. Anyway, folks, hope you enjoyed this episode of Horoscope. Till the next time, stay foxy and much love.